guys, it's Sarah TC, and I'm here today to show you or tell you a little bit about this thing I think is absolutely fascinating. It's called fascia, and it makes a huge difference in the spring that we have in our step, the resilience our body has, and basically the overall health, I believe, of our entire being, including, I would go as far to say as our immunity. So let me give you a real good picture, or at least a quick picture, of what fascia is. I'm going to show you with this grapefruit here, the skin is similar to your skin. It's porous. It lets in what it needs. It tries to keep out what it doesn't want in. When you go below the surface, you'll see that there is this white film in between the grapefruit skin and the slices. And that's just like us. We have a layer of fascia of connective tissue that holds our skin. So as you get in there, the you muscles. would see that each slice has its own bag, and each one of our muscles has its own fascial bag. And then when you go inside of each one of our muscles or inside of each slice of grapefruit, you'll see that each fiber also has its own bag. So the fascia interdigitates every muscle and then goes around each muscle. And when it goes around each muscle, it allows the muscles to slide on one another. This also goes around the lungs and all of our organs, which helps our lungs and organs move in proper Tom function Myers with one another. Did this really interesting work in which he showed, a second, he showed that if you take these fascial bags, interdigitation between the muscles, the fascial bag, it becomes less muscle fibers and more tendon where there is less blood innervation. You get that thick tendon, which is more collagen-like, and that goes to the bone, which has a fascial bag, which goes to another muscle and another bag. So instead of cutting and pulling away all the fascia, he cut in the line of what the fascia connects. And what he found was incredible. What he found was that we have these fascial lines throughout our body that connect our body in spirals and from front to back and inside and out. And so we have this really cool fascial line that goes from our big toe all the way up our calves, our hamstrings, affect our lower back, go all the way up the back to the eyes. So then you begin to see how can working on my feet, how can working on my calves affect my hamstrings, hips, and lower back? He found another line that goes from the inner foot to the pelvic floor, from the pelvic floor to the heart. And we know that the heart and the pelvic floor are very much related in multiple ways, right? And that also affects our breath, that same fascia line and our jaw. And we've seen over time in many different fields that the jaw is incredibly related to the hips. So this work to me is just fascinating. It shows that we have this very integrated system that if I pull on a fiber down at the bottom, it's gonna affect the muscle fibers. It's gonna affect the connective tissue further up. It might not move as much, but chronic pulling is definitely gonna create um, a tension and perhaps even adhesion somewhere else in my body. So one of the most important things about fascia is that it stays hydrated so that when we walk, we can have uh, greater absorption through the body. And it doesn't just happen in the joints, it happens all through the fascial system. So if you check out my next fascia video for all of you anatomy geeks who wanna know what fascia is made of, you'll recognize and see why water is such the a biggest big part issue with our fascia is dehydration. And dehydration often happens because of one, lack of movement, two, lack of irrigation, meaning not drinking enough water, or three, stress. Stress can come from poor nutrition, mental emotional stress, and lack of sleep. Check out the next video, which will tell you how to hydrate the tissue, how to keep your fascia, can you guys hear this? From sounding like this. How to get it to absorb water so that you can do more things that you love in life which I think that's what it's all about. So till next time, continue to have a little spring in your step, feel connected and integrated because that's exactly how and who you are. Have a great day. Come check me out at any training or see my website listed below. Thank you for listening. Namaste.